Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Before we get to all the conquering and the pillaging and the looting and the raiding, I just wanted to point out I have noticed this. This is the religion screen, but it has this bit with decadent relatives. So, although we don't actually have any decadency, so to speak, on our bars or anywhere, it we do have the ability to see if our relatives are decadent. So it does, we're not able to kind of preempt it, but we will be able to spot it, hopefully. Maybe we'll get a pop-up or something, but that's what I was uh, wanting to look at. So do we actually have any... We took some land down here, I believe, last time. Ah, right. So we're just waiting for it to pop up, saying we can pillage, I think. Mm, yeah. Okay. So who are we going to attack next? We could attack Karen. They seem like a alright choice. Allies. They have Karen's half-sister, Ilham's brother-in-law. Okay. Does he have a lot of men? 1,000. Uh, who is that? The Aldo. Uh, the Adowitz? Where are the Adowitz? Oh. Is that you there? Very small. So I think Karen's a good choice to attack. A lot of land. We have a lot of prestige to spend as well. If we could get some more manpower and population, we might be able to get something uh, uh, really good. But I don't think we're going to be able to do that. So if we attack Karen, that does give us a direct border with the Abbasids again. Hmm. Do we want a direct border with the Abbasids? They don't seem to have any problem conquering the other Sunnis. Unless these are Shias. No. No, these are still Sunnis. Um, so maybe we want to go kind of down this way. So if we were to attack uh, Nandin, that would be 1,000 men. He has an ally, which is Jebath's sister, Nitral's brother-in-law, and he has another 600. This seems like a better target. We'll head over here. What could we declare war on them for? Um, I don't know. Let's see, inv invasion, invasion, tributary... Conquest. Uh, tributary problem. Oh, Conquest. Why don't give us one province? Hmm. If we take a Conquest war against Nandin here, that would give us access to Bamian, which we in Conquest, which then we can conquest Zumbil. We could kind of move our way down like that, and just kind of take it one province off of everybody in here and make a line. It's probably not the most efficient way, but it would get us a lot of land very quickly. And... It would all be our land, and then we can pillage it, which would give us points. Seems like a good choice. So I'll just send them over at medium speed and up back in a second. Right. Uh, they should be going a little bit quicker. Just uh, forgot to uh, set up the timer for this episode, so I have no idea how long it's uh, been going, how long it'll last. Anyway, yes. Move over. We'll get uh, to Nandin. What have we got here? Arrange marriage. We have a piece of you. We propose that Porzok the wolf and Delic marry. Okay, who's Porzok the wolf? Heir to the Tigran clan. Okay, so it's your heir and my courtier. Um, do we not have a daughter who needs to be married? Uh, no, you're the Empress of the Arabian Empire. Uh, Spymaster. You need to be married. We're going to uh, just special interest this guy for a second. We're going to decline. We're now going to suggest... Uh, I want to go back one. I think. I'll suggest that you marry. By rank. Am I going to find... I guess I have to go by name. Oh, there are a lot of names. We want P. We want uh, Poor Suck Tiggin. Uh, okay, we need to go and find him again. Right, I want... Uh, I'd have to go to him. I want to arrange a marriage between poor Tux and our daughter. Which one? The older one, I assume? Are they twins? They're twins. Okay. Uh, let's go for the quick one. We'll make him good. Right, there we go. We'll get rid of uh, Porsuck as a uh, thing. And which daughter was that we got rid of? Probably you. 
Okay, you're no longer interesting to me. Uh, can we pillage it? Nope. Okay. Let's move him over. Range marriage has been received by Portox and... No, I, I, I literally just sent you your marriage. Yes. Good. Glad he accepted it in the end. Um, okay. So, Nandan. Let's attack. Player war. Conquest. We could... Two conquests? Oh, they got some land up there. Um, I want this land. Let's just go and get it. Head in. We'll call in our allies. Might as well go to this and just call in all allies. That'll just give us like, more people on our side, even if it doesn't actually give us any tangible benefits. Uh, Murat is no longer court chaplain for Kagan Kaparan. Okay. So we need a new court chaplain. Let's put someone in. We don't have anyone. Well, we can fix that. We'll just invite the holy man to court. Or a couple of holy men. Hmm. You'll do. And you can go and... Do want to perform charity? Oh, is that a vassal imprisoned? Is a likely outcome. That's not good. Um, research cultural tech. That'll do. In our capital. Capital tech uh, doing alright? We have none. Wait. We should have tech in our capital because we actually have tech. Weird. Um, it should actually be going up there. Weird that it's not showing. Maybe we need to get a uh, one on everything for that to show. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, okay, there are two peasant families in Kundas who have been locked in a bitter feud for generations. This conflict has now escalated to the point where it is discussed in circles of nobility. All this feud would be normally beneath your notice. The golden opportunity to practice your diplomacy. I thought we'd only get this if we had um, the diplomacy thing here. Like the diplomacy ambition. Um, okay, well, we'll sponsor a meeting between the families. Maybe it's because we have the family focus? Could be. Uh, let's go and get rid of the rest of his army if we can. Uh, let's appeal... Uh, let's flatter them. You've invited the two feuding families to your local inn and hope of reaching some sort of agreement. The peasants are seated at two op opposing tables on the other side of your position in the middle. Some have brought pitchforks, one clutch is a live chicken, all of them look moderately inbred. This could be a challenge, let's flatter them. My friend, you say with a warm smile, as warm a smile as you can muster. I think you know why I've called your great families here. As you suffer from this tragic conflict, the entire realm suffers with you. Let's uh, soothe their tempers. In a firm but kind voice, you say, Many of you are angry, I know. You have every reason to be. Too much blood has been spilled between your families for things to be smoothed over, but there comes a time when one has to look to the future. Um, let's uh, threaten them with violence. For dramatic effect, you pull out a dagger and stab it into the table with all your might. Because if you do not, I cannot. I can assure you that there will be no future for your families. I'll personally hunt down every single one of you and make sure that... Um, I think we could have done that better. You barely have time to dodge the chicken someone hauls your way. However, how the two families leapt over the tables and throw themselves at each other. If you're caught in the middle, clothes torn, covered in bruises, you eventually manage to crawl out of the inn as the fighting continues inside. Well, I did my best. I got a diplomacy for that? Well, that's good. Um, okay, 29th of May, we're going to arrive on the 28th. It is mountains, but we will destroy them. Absolutely. And we'll move over here and destroy him. We probably should... Oh, I forgot. We should have looted first. Now, let's head back. In fact, did we loot? Someone had... Nobody's looted there. Okay. We should have looted there first. Dragon, your favorite warhorse, has died. We, we lost another warhorse? Okay. Uh, do we have pillage yet? Ah, we have pillage. Perfect. We will get our 10 gold and the 10 points. And uh, none of the rest are here. Let's... Uh, was it? Get a new warhorse? There he is. We'll have Dragon again. Yes. Good name for a warhorse. We'll keep naming it that. Okay, they lost all of their soldiers. They're going to lose another lot of soldiers. Our son has reached, uh, has reached legal age. Let's see if we can marry him off to somebody of high rank. Princess of Armenia? Uh, the Yuga Blitz. Um, they over here somewhere. I'm just seeing if I can spot them quickly. 
Uh, they're not big enough for me to notice on the map unless they're... On oh no, there they are. I can see them though, they kind of brown color right there. So let's uh, marry him off to one of those. Yes, that works for me. Perfect. Uh, we could call him in. Um, we're not going to call him in. That's very stupid. I don't suppose you want to uh, accept our peace. No, probably because we haven't taken any land. Right, we'll just sit here and siege. we got got 6,000 troops coming from all the lands, so it should be very quick, the siege. Uh, we could call in our ally. We'll call him in. See if he'll join. Okay. Yeah, we need to pillage those. But we can't do it just yet. Uh, our son is currently our steward, and this guy thinks he would be a better steward. We'll give our, the other guy a chance. It's, in case you didn't know, that event always gives you the... Uh, like, the person who comes to you is always better at the job. I don't believe it ever tricks you. So basically what he's saying is, uh, do you want a better person? Here's an option. But if you do that, then the other person hates you. Uh, we... I was wondering whether assaulting would be quicker there. Like, would we, um, because, like, would assaulting be better there because we're actually taking attrition from the number of troops, but, uh, we stopped taking attrition. Which is good. We've actually got some manpower, which is surprising. Um, you don't want to surrender yet? Nope. Okay, let's, uh, assault down this province. Good. Call in our allies. Sure, everybody can come in to this war. I believe the more allies you call in, the like he gets a like, there is a penalty. An honourable mention. I trust the Chancellor reports of success. Okay, they like us better. Okay. Fine. Let's head down into his army if we can. Where they go? Mandesh. We'll follow. 16th of May, we'll have on the 25th. You can walk into this army if you like. I don't think you're going to like it, though. Um, we arrive on the 16th, they leave on the 1st. What? Are we lost to siege up there? 98%. You must want to surrender now. No! Okay, one more battle should do it. Or this uh, siege. Okay, he likes us more. Yay. Was the leader of our vassal, which is down here somewhere. Um, 24. It's not too bad. He does hate our guts, but that's fine. 99%. Once we win this battle, it will go to 100. There we go. 100%. Horse peace. Done. Um, yes, we assert the title. Good. Uh, I guess we'll keep the holding. We'll pillage it, though. Definitely going to pillage it. Not going to settle as feudal. Uh, they don't want us to give our land to anybody yet. Nope. No land. Land demand. That's good. Arslan still everybody hates them. That's quite funny. Um, let's head into Kundaz, and then we can attack into the next province, which will probably be you, Bamon. Call to arms. Okay, the declining would cost us 100 prestige. This is the uh, Eucalyd Revolt. We'll accept. We're not going to join in, but we'll accept. We could call our vassals in and our... I don't think we can. No. It says we can call them in, but I think if it thinks about it, we can't. Yeah. This isn't our war. We'll pillage the holding. Um, should only have like one holding left there. Does it not burn it to the ground anymore? Um, I thought they burned them to the ground. No? Okay. Weird. We'll have to see. Uh, so you are Baman. Baman. Oh, that is actually attached to there. I thought that was a, a proper border there, but it's not. So, we can attack them for one province. Um... Which seems like a sensible idea. Probably the biggest province is the one we want to go for. Although their capital is here and we could take that. Um, hmm. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's... 
I like that because it's bigger and it would make her name bigger on the map, but there's no real reason to choose that province. This province is objectively better. Let's stick on the looter tag and go and loot. The world is a dangerous place. Rumors have reached it. People are conspiracy. Like, they're going to try and kill my wife. Whatever. Don't really care. Not going to send her into hiding. No, 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 no. Not going to do that. We want her to die so we can get a new wife. We always want her to die so we can get a new wife. That's the secret. Right. Siege that down. Seems my interest in paganism has come to the attention of one of my practitioners within the realm. We've met and had the most fruitful discussions about theology and other matters. Okay. That's fine. Uh, I thought our interest in paganism is that was our true religion and we were... Uh, just kind of around. Um, oh, looks like everybody's our friend. A concubine of another liege is our friend. Weird. Okay, let's uh, toggle off looter and then... Oh, suppose we should declare the war. Be nice to tell them. Um, we want Bamin, I think. We could go for a subordination. Um of uh, Zablustan. What do we need? Independent. Not, holds none of your close relatives hostage. Not bankrupt. Not. That would work. Just take all of that land. So what does that actually do? It takes over and vassalizes all titles held within the satrapy. Yep, I think that's uh, the best option. Cost us prestige. Just checking I'm not missing anything. Hey, can we do invasions yet? No, still don't have the population. So we'll declare that. Now we can call in all of our allies, which we will do. Uh, Crumb will say no, but Crumb always says no. Right, let's head in. Ooh, that's a lot of men that he just bought. But if we attack right now, I think we'll still win. This mountains it is mount. I think we'll still win because he has no morale. I'm going for it. He answered the call to war. Okay, so the Abbasids will come over, and they are actually quite nearby. We got in before he got morale tick, which means we destroyed his army. Including the mercenary army he just paid for. Uh, we'll pillage that land, obviously. Hmm. It is like pillaging doesn't actually do the same thing anymore. I wonder whether that's uh, true. Oh well, as long as we keep having promises that we can uh, get money off of and nobody cares. That, that'll work for me. Um, okay. Yep. Continue pillage. Maybe you can pillage them multiple times or something. Possibly. 100% war score. Done. Force demands. All of this is our land. And, okay. Pillage, yes. Definitely pillaging. Uh, some more pillaging can go on. Clans want more land. They want me to get rid of two provinces. Okay. We are at our maximum number of clans. Oh! Ah, I haven't seen this formula before. Maximum number of clans. Four. So that's, uh... Yeah, one clan. Plus the number of provinces divided by five? Oh, I think I knocked that there. Round it up. So if we have 90... Yeah, we have 19 provinces. We have... And they want five counties per clan. And that gives it, and that gives us a maximum number of clans because it's night. It must round up. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to see if anyone doesn't have the mountain they should. So you have one, two, three, four. Tegan needs another one. Arslan has more than they should, and other guys, you need another one. Okay, so we'll give. Should we give land up here? I'm thinking maybe we should give like one of these provinces to Tiggin just because it make his borders look nicer. Like this bit of land. So we'll give him Karakum. Actually, we've been pillaging that. We'll give him Urkanen. Hello, mister. You should have this province. And he'll like us for that. Now we want to give one of the other provinces away. I think we'll give him this province here. Serdera. It's one of the ones we've had a long time, but I think it's a good choice to give him one that's closer 
ish to his land. At least if there's a rebellion, he can deal with it. Right. Uh, clans don't hate me anymore. We can still pillage everything. Uh, another war? I think we'll do one more war before we end the episode. I have no idea how long this is. It's probably like half an hour by now or something. Uh, Zudenbill, are they... They're not really that scary. I think we want this province from Zunbil because that gives us the most things that we can... That we're uh, attached to. Uh, attacking a, fully, a fellow Sunni Muslim, we will lose two piety per month. I, I can cope with this. Or, or we can take these two provinces from them here. That would give us... I think that would mean we'd have to split into another clan. Which would be fine. But we'd have... I think we have to do it at that point. Hmm... Yeah, okay. Uh, or we can do a conquest for one of these provinces. Now let's just declare war. We'll call in all of our allies. Um, there you go. Someone's going to say no. Uh, and I guess we'll charge in here. The Bamian army? Are we still at war with them? I don't think we are. Ah, the Abbasid said no. They were going to say no at some point. But our, our other Sunni Pirate person said yes. Uh, Kagri has been born. Okay. That's fine. Uh, he didn't join. Don't really care. I think maybe we want to increase the size of our horde as well, actually, now that I think about it. We should have some more horde space. Um, we do. Let's go for horse. Um, what? We, do you want to spend money or prestige? Let's spend money and go for the horse archers and just create more. There we go. Three of those and we can't build any more prestige. Let's just merge them together. And they can just uh, sit up there building. Back into this province. I'm guessing actually that the uh, Abbasid guy didn't join because he's also Sunni. That could explain it. Uh, attack in here. That works for me. Assault it back. Head to his capital. And we'll go and assault this down. Ah! All of our pillaging is, o is open again. More money for free. This is perfect. Okay, this explain. I th I think I get this now. The reason why you have to keep taking the land, the land forward, and uh, I think you want to keep the land that you want to pillage, and then once you pillage it, you give it to your vassals. This is making more sense now. I'm getting the kind of flow that you're meant to uh, do with this. Uh, that's. Mountains. We could possibly catch this person as he runs into desert. Okay. So, 8th of December. It's when he can't change his mind. Okay. So, 8th of December. Are our allies coming down anytime soon? They're thinking about it. They're definitely thinking about it. Uh, slow down time. 8th of December. Let's go for it. Oh, it says 12th of February now. That's not what it used to say. Yeah, okay, I guess they changed their mind without us having to be involved. And then, okay. Let's try and uh, catch one of these armies. 20th. To get in there on the 6th. Okay, so we'll need to chase into there. It's fine. Are vassals coming down? Oh, we got the Militia Training Ground as well, which should give us... Oh, it gives us some le... Not that it's the It give us more horde or something? I completely forgot what it does. Maybe it just gives us more troops straight up. On top of that land. Um, I can actually check what it does. Militia Training Ground. Because we built... Oh, it's not being built in our capital. Uh, okay. Uh, can't upgrade this again. Castle infrastructure has to be at least one. Castle infrastructure. One. Okay. We can pay for that again. Definitely worth it. Makes our men better. And actually, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. 
Uh, next time we're going to continue our War of the Sunnis and then possibly just take over most of India. Seems like a good plan. See you then. Goodbye.